Let's talk about India and boosters. I had some ambivalence initially. India had so many natural infections that we were thinking that those natural infections will work as boosters. But now I am giving unthrottled endorsement to boosters. All Indian adults should consider boosters. Before I go any further, let me say this to you, looking you in the eye. Those of you who have taken two doses of Covishield or Covaxin, the vaccines will continue to protect you against serious disease. So don't be scared by all the numbers that would be coming out of UK very soon. Don't worry. The vaccines will continue to protect you against serious disease. But we have to change with time. There was a US warship and it encountered an object and it sent a message saying that we are coming, get out of the way. The object said, I'm not moving. US warship got mad and said, get out of the way or else. The object said, I'm the lighthouse. So then US warship altered the course. At times things change and we have to change with them. Initially, when we were vaccinating the whole population, we were hoping that this vaccination will prevent even the mild disease and spread. That was true against COVID, mostly against Delta. With Delta, it started dropping. Even the vaccinated people can get mild disease and they can spread it to the other pool of unvaccinated people. Many nations still have a big pool of unvaccinated people. US has about 39%, UK about 30%, India about 50%. The virus can spread, replicate and mutate in those pools. So we have to protect them. One way of protecting that is giving the boosters to people who are already vaccinated. India cannot be behind. If you look at the world, 4.7% of the world population is already boosted. 8.6% of Chinese, 13% of the Spaniards. 33% of UAE, 35% of UK, 16% of USA, 47% of Chile. So we can't be behind there. The problem for USA and UK is they have a big pool of unvaccinated, about 39% in US and 30% in UK who are not going to take the vaccine. That is also a problem. But there are a couple conceptual issues about the boosters. Let's clear them quickly. First thing is, maybe let's stop calling it a booster. Hepatitis B, we take three shots. Polio, we take four to five shots. DPT, we take five shots. HIV, we take four shots. Maybe, maybe this vaccine for COVID just needs three shots. So just call it a primary series. If you call it booster, people start getting confused. Second argument is, that India has so many unvaccinated still that focusing on them first should be priority. That's an idiotic argument and I'll tell you why. The people who have taken the first dose of Covishield say like two or three weeks ago, they have to wait 12 weeks to get their shot. We can't make it any sooner. So while we are waiting, why are we waiting? Why not move ahead with the boosters? Do we really, do you guys, like, does the Indian audience really know why the efficacy of the second shot of Covishield is better if it is taken after 12 weeks as against 4 weeks? And if you understand the answer to that question, you will understand the next part as to why Covishield should not be used as a booster for Covishield. We have spoken about it many times, but let's take a look at it quickly. When you make COVID antibodies, say there is a bus that is going from Bombay to Delhi and bus is the vector, the adenovirus and on that bus, there are COVID proteins. So the bus starts from Bombay, the first dose, it reaches Delhi, it makes the antibodies against the coronavirus and against the bus. When you send a second dose after the four weeks, the antibodies against the bus stop the bus, which is going from Bombay to Delhi in Nagpur won't let it reach Delhi, so the COVID proteins are not able to reach Delhi and the efficacy goes down. If you send the bus after 12 weeks, by then the antibodies against bus have gone down, so the bus is able to reach again almost to Delhi and the COVID proteins reach there and you get a boosted effect. 
but there is going to be some antibody some t cell activity against the vector so if you send the third dose in the bus there is going to be some damping they are going to stop the bus by making the antibodies or t cells against the bus that's why we have been talking about heterologous prime boost that means use two different platforms two different technologies to boost and the entire world is doing that i have been begging about it for six seven months like nobody is paying any attention if you have sachin tendulkar and chris gale in your team you don't need a virat kohli maybe take akshar patel or ashwin that will make your team all rounder so if you have taken two doses of covid shield take a dose of covaxin and if india studies it two doses of, right now one study in britain is a bs study they are saying that against omicron it could be 0% protection covid shield don't worry that protection is only against mild symptomatic disease not against serious disease they say two doses of covid shield plus one dose of mrna boosts up to 71% two doses of pfizer is 35% but three doses of pfizer is about 71% and we are here talking about mild symptomatic disease so india needs to give covaxin booster to all people who have taken two doses of covid shield india can also consider those of us who are going to wait weeks and weeks to get the second dose of covid shield they can consider giving them a covaxin too and do a mix match right there one dose covax covid shield one dose covaxin india can bring mrna or its own mrna and do the mix and match trial and maybe sell covaxin to the rest of the world another argument against booster that is the world health organization is making is that the rich nations if they give the booster the poor nations will not get the uh, the resources that's just idiotic you cannot make poor people rich by making rich people poor is as simple as that so right now india don't worry you are protected against the serious disease you also also have lot of natural disease that will help to continue to boost you and protect you but you should get the boosters right away the indian vaccine committee needs to do that they also need to look after the 25% population that is under 18 we have to have a decision on them 3 months 4 5 months ago we need the decision on booster now today means the indian vaccine committee knows right that there is a pandemic going on dr ravi godse